Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. On July 24, 2009, at approximately 9.30 in the morning, Hannah and I walked into the Acorn office in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hannah posed as the prostitute seeking to traffic into the United States underage prostitutes from El Salvador. I posed as her pimp boyfriend running for Congress seeking to launder the sex profits into my future political campaign. You may recognize the Philly location from the beginning of each video released thus far. And you may have heard about our Philly sting from the media. Levinson tells CNN that the filmmakers made similar efforts in Philadelphia. Once inside, we met with Catherine Conway Russell, the nonchalant Acorn office manager. You may recognize Catherine from testimony she posted to Media Matters on the Internet. Here's what happened in Philadelphia. First, the way we were dressed. He was not dressed in any unusually flashy manner. I was wearing white pants with a satin tie, and Hannah walked in wearing a sarong, stilettos, and the pimp fur with hoop earrings. She also wore a bizarre-looking leather shirt. Like, if we come to the Acorn sessions, no one's going to freak out about the fact she's dressed like this. Acorn then claimed that we never even mentioned prostitution. They never said that she was a prostitute. We mentioned prostitution twice. No one's going to be prejudiced against her because she's a prostitute. You guys are and Catherine said that nobody in her office would discriminate against that line of work or anything else. Because of, because of, she's a prostitute. It seems as though everyone has been stating Hannah and I were kicked out of the office in Philadelphia. They were thrown out. Basically got thrown out. Finally, people were thrown out. People are told, you know, we can't help you. The Philadelphia Daily News reported that we were shown the door. The local president, Carol Hemingway, stating we were asked to leave the office after causing a major disturbance. The Washington Post reported similar findings. Even the Philadelphia Inquirer reported we only spoke to Catherine Conway Russell for, quote, a few minutes. Head organizer Neil Herman said again that Catherine had asked us to leave the office. Was it true that we were shown the door and kicked out after just a few minutes? I'm sure he won't show this video on his website. Later in the video, you'll see the full, unedited, continuous tape of our visit to the Philadelphia Acorn. That didn't just last a few minutes, not 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, or even 20 minutes, but 32 minutes long. My camera ran out of batteries at the 26 minute mark, but the audio kept recording. We talked about the abusive pimp and the new prostitution business. And we don't want to have anything to do with that guy. I'm trying to at least, if not straighten her out, give her her own business, where she doesn't have to be beholden to that guy. We said our business was all cash. She doesn't have a credit card. I don't, yeah. Never, ever have so don't, you don't, everything's, yeah. everything's in cash. We talked about loan sharks. A lot of the loan sharks know my old boss. We talked about people coming in and out of the house every day. And, yeah, and our situation is a little bit unique because we have a lot of people coming into this house every day. In fact, we even told Catherine we were worried about getting in trouble. We don't want, we don't want to get in trouble and with the authorities you know, because what she's doing well. is but we don't I, want the know, police to come here to your event and bills, us to get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. No, That's all that we ask. We don't want to get in trouble with the cops um, because I mean, we're obviously doing something no, illegal. I don't want illegal. You to trust us, so we don't want it to like have you guys like freaking out that like, oh my gosh, this chick's gonna end up dead and right. where and we just gave her a loan and now she can't pay the money back. And I, you know, they didn't say they didn't. Thank so you so much. <laughs> then, after we admitted we were doing something illegal, Catherine went to get a document that gave information about attending one of the housing intake workshops. She nailed down logistics of attending the workshop. Before we leave, can we just ask you one more question? Um, August 4th at 6 p.m. Here. It was at this point our video ran out, just a few minutes before we left. We mentioned the underage girls. Then they asked about bringing girls from El Salvador and getting them papers, etc. I told them that there was nothing we could do to help them, that I didn't know anything about what they were asking about. What Catherine actually said was that it was okay, and began to explain what type of property we should be looking for. Well, I mean, what if there's like... <laughs> I mean, 12 girls, then there'd be 13, like, of us living in a house for a little bit. I mean, it would be short-term, no more than, like, a year. Um, 
would that be okay? We have, but we could put a lot of beds in a room or something. I then told them that they had to leave. I had other things I needed to do. But Catherine said her help to us was no problem and actually gave us her business card and told us to call her before our workshop if we had any questions. She said we'd have to make arrangements despite our lack of a bank account. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, I mean, really. When was it? So, do you have a card? Do you mind if I call you for advice or anything before this workshop? Was there other paperwork that I could maybe try and figure out? That's where I give cash to the post office and they give a check. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And on our way out the door, a kind, friendly conversation with the receptionist who confirmed our appointment. This is the one area that we finally feel welcome. And we didn't, she didn't call the cops on us, you know what I mean? Every time we go anyplace, they call the cops, the banks. Because of what she does for a living, and it's you know what I mean? But anyways, nice. we just wanted to thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I might be here at this. August 4th. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Then we walked out of the facility. At no point were we kicked out, and at no point were we asked to leave. You can watch and hear the unedited continuous tape to confirm the time sequence of all these events. Questions. Why did the Philadelphia Press report we were kicked out? Will those reporters now print corrections? Would the Washington Post print a second correction? Why didn't Catherine call the police on us while we were there, or at least not help us? Why did she give us her business card and provide information about a housing intake appointment, giving us advice in regards to a housing counselor after we talked about the underage girls? And finally, now that Acorn lied to you, Media Matters, what are you going to do? Give me the drums! <laughs>